Professor David Sinclair and his team of scientists at Harvard are certain that the pain and suffering of old age isn't something we should accept. What we want to do is to keep all organs and tissues healthier at the same time for as long as possible. If we can do it in make a mouse or a rat, even a dog live like that and die quickly at the end, can we do it in people? Uh, can we do it with medicines? And what would the world look like if we could achieve that? This world is probably closer than you think. Research in anti-aging has advanced significantly in recent years, mainly down to the establishment of the hallmarks of aging. There's telomere shortening, there's loss of stem cells, there's DNA damage, there's senescent cells, zombie cells that accumulate. And then there's what I work on in part, which is called the epigenome. Understanding the relationship between these hallmarks is the major challenge. The epigenome is the control system for the genome. And we think that a large part of aging and possibly the reason that other parts of the body go wrong uh, is that the epigenome becomes dysregulated. And what I mean by that is when you're a young child or an embryo, your cells are told to be a certain cell type. A nerve cell in the brain, when you're young, stays a nerve cell for most of your life. But over time, these nerve cells in our eye and our brain start to lose their identity, their epigenome becomes dysregulated. And that's what we think is driving a lot of the aging process. We work on this molecule NAD that turns on defenses against these hallmarks of aging. It helps telomeres get less short, it helps preserve stem cells, and it also, uh, we think, slows down these epigenomic changes. And if you do give these NAD molecules to mice, they're much healthier. We showed a few years ago that they can run further on a treadmill, they get rejuvenated when they're old. Now it's early days, you know, we're not all going to suddenly be 30 years younger tomorrow, but the proof of principle has been shown. We can measure the age of a person accurately, biologically, and we can either take the cells out of the person make them younger and put them back in, as some colleagues of mine at Stanford University have done. Uh, or we can genetically modify a mouse and turn on some what we call reprogramming genes and make those mice live up to 40% longer and be much healthier. Or what we did was we had a gene therapy where we turned on three genes that are normally only turned on in very young humans and mice. We decided to put them into the the eye of mice to see if we could rejuvenate their eyes. And it worked, it really worked. We, those nerve cells went back to a young age, they were healthier, and we restored the eyesight of those mice, those old mice. My colleagues and I have proven that you can reverse aging. It's just a question of, of when and how do we apply this to human disease and eventually to aging itself.